Amid graduation season, so many students are celebrating their 12 years of academic achievements and hard work coming to a close. But for some Harrison Central High students, this weekend ceremony only represents heartbreak. It was just two weeks ago when 17 year old LB was called into her principal's office for what she refers to as an unexpected warning. She was told as a transgender student and biological male, she must adhere to the boys dress code for graduation. According to school policy, her only requirement left to graduate was to wear a white button down shirt, a tie and black pants. When we looked at that policy under our impression, my daughter identifies as female every day of her life. She dresses in feminine clothing every day of her life. LB's mom says school staff has always been supportive of her feminine attire. That was until Superintendent Mitchell King ordered the dress code be strictly enforced this year. He also said that, that the kids needed to have on their Sunday's best. How is that her wearing her dress not her Sunday's best. They took the issue to federal court, claiming discrimination by the school district, but the judge ruling against her because her registration paperwork spelled out male. Me going to graduation and, and what they asked me to wear would be me telling them that it's okay, and it's not. It would just feel like I was shadowed and tainted by bigotry, hate. So LB sat it out, telling us she felt humiliated by district officials. It's really emotional for me, you know, because this is an experience that we'll never be able to get back, you know. Our comfort zone is a warm, fuzzy blanket, but I'll also be the first to advocate for pushing your limits. Meanwhile, at the ceremony Saturday night, some students were pulled right from the lineup just moments before receiving their diplomas. For Jay Dallas, the only thing standing in the way of her dream to walk the stage was the dress code. This is something that she, she achieved, you know, that she worked hard for. Her mom, Karen, says a supervisor told her daughter she could not wear black pants underneath her gown. She tells her that she could take her pants off and walk the stage, but she needed white shoes. So she could walk in her underwear, but she can't walk in pants. Her family members outraged that they weren't told during rehearsals. Several adults told her that her attire was okay, and they waited, and she's been here since 4 o'clock. Why didn't nobody say anything? Her sister, Renaya, graduated just three years ago, but tells us she's never seen anything like this. When I graduated, I was proud to come from Harrison Central, but I just don't know what this is today. That, that was a very awful experience to see my sister not be able to graduate from where I graduated from. I traveled 800 miles to come see her graduate. And that's Jay's grandmother. I don't understand how that this a moment this important could be taken away from a child that's worked 12 years to get here. We reached out to Superintendent King a day after graduation. He replied with these 11 words. In part, we followed the policy. Harrison Central High Principal Kelly Fuller did not attend the ceremony. District leaders tell us she was away for family obligations. My graduation um, is the start of a new life a better life. Jay's mother tells us she plans to be at her daughter's school first thing Monday morning in search of answers. As for LB, she says she'll never stop fighting for what she feels is right.